This week on Inside Richard Hill Football, we'll get caught up on how we defeated Valdosta in the quarterfinal matchup, and later we'll take a look at some of our key athletic players. Stick with us to take a look at next week's semifinals against Alatuna. All that and more to come on Inside Richmond Hill Football. I'm your host, Chandler Espina, alongside me, head coach, Matt Lazat. What's up, man? Man, how's it going? Man, it's December, we're still playing football. Let's go. <laughs> Dude. Let's go. It's getting cold, but, I mean, we're Who still cares? in the playoffs, man. Who cares? We're going to make it all the way. Tell us about last week's game. Well, it's not raining, so who cares? You know, if it were cold and rainy, then it'd be, then we'd be kind of kind of upset. But, yeah. man, I tell you, you know, uh, folks, that was uh, that was the greatest football atmosphere ever played in Richmond Hill ever you know like it, it was just it was it was amazing the fans the environment the opponent uh, you start putting all these all these uh, different parts of the equation into uh, into a Friday night football match and man it's a uh, it, it was special it was a special environment um, we were fortunate to come out as the, as the victor uh, we had some things go our way against a very good um, top 10, top 5 team in the state. Um, that's our second top 10 team that we've beaten this year. And uh, and, and, and the first two times that, that Richmond Hills ever beat a team in the top 10. So, we, you know, we're, we're excited. Uh, we, are, we are marching forward with our eyes forward on the next opponent, the next game. Um, but I tell you what, I, I couldn't be more proud of our guys. I mean, it's just when, 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 I, when I took my headset off Friday night and I walked down to uh, – to Coach Tony Lazad, and I said, I said, that, that just happened. And he knew exactly what I was talking about. Like, like we, we just beat Valdosta to go to the semifinals in, in the state playoffs. Um, kind of crazy when five years ago, no one thought that you could even win here. And, and, and our guys are believing in it. Our guys are playing hard. Coaches are preparing the guys. Communities believing in it. Students are believing in it. Um, there's a great energy around around our success, and uh, we look forward to a good good night on Friday night. Man, this season has been the best it's that we great. have ever, um, and really it has to do with uh, the coaches and the football players. But um, I mean, really, last week's game against Valdosta is I like as I could say one of the biggest games that we have ever won. Um, so tell us that during the game, what made Richmond Hill come on top by just two points. It's the, what I continue to talk about is our steadiness, man. We don't flinch. We just play. Uh, it doesn't matter whether we, whether we get up or whether we get down. We just stay the course. Um, we, we've been so good in the second quarter. Um, after making adjustments and, and doing some things, uh, you know, they, they, they popped off a big play um, right at the beginning of the game. Um, pretty pretty lucky play. Great concentration by, by their, their player. And, uh, and and scored. Um, it didn't matter to our guys. You know, it was like, okay, that was a mistake. We we, we got to play better if we're going to win. And they came over to the tent. We fixed it. 
got the plan, rolled out on the field, and continued to play. We played really, really hard, and that, that, was, the, that was the difference in the evening. Um, not saying that they didn't play hard, but we, we played really hard. Um, we ran the football well, and uh, when you can do those two things and, and you have, have some things go your way with, with, with the, our takeaways on defense, um, it's good enough for football. It is. So, Coach, winning this game, um, now we're going to the semifinals, right? Correct. Um, and so after the semifinals, um, going game by game, what games come next? How many games are there to be, and when do we get to state? Well, I tell you, we, we, we've got one more game. We, we're the final four win, takes us down to two, and we'll be playing at Georgia State next Friday um, if we're fortunate enough to win Friday night. So um, it, it, we, we have a hefty task ahead of us with Alatoona coming to town. and. Um, but, you know, planning ahead, you've always got to plan ahead just, just in case uh, that happens. And, uh, you, you know, that, that's for me to do it as, as, as the head coach. You know, I want our guys focused in. They don't need to worry about what the future holds. Let's worry about today. Let's get better today. Let's get dialed into the game plan today and, uh, and dive fully into that, even the assistant coaches. And let, let's just focus all of our attention on, on Alatoon. Let's go 1-0 and this week and uh, let the details and, and chips fall where they may. Um, Mr. Baines and, 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 and Bennett are working really hard in there to, to have a plan ready uh, to, to put into action um, for us logistically. Um, when, when next Friday rolls around, we should be so fortunate to be playing still. Yeah. Well, this Friday, as it comes around, we are going to be playing here, right here, here. right here in yeah. Wildcat Stadium. You the know, there right are some question marks seats. about uh, where we'd be playing, but uh, this, this is the spot. This is the spot. This is where the magic's been made this year, and, you know, we've. Uh, We've we've played some we've played some uh, some great games in front of a home crowd. Uh, a little bit shifting uh, in, in in the trend since I've been here. We, we've uh, historically have played really well on the road and not played well at home, and we've really dialed it in and started playing really well at home. Mm -hmm. All right. So in order, like guys, this is the semifinal. This has never happened before no, no, it hasn't. in Richmond Hills history. So. Come out to this game. Let's go. Support the football players, the coaches. Mm. Guys, this is a game that you might never, ever be able to be a part of again. There's, there's a section down here that, that holds about 900, I think. And, and so it, I, the challenge is, can we pack that, that section out with our students and make that into the field where we control that into the field with noise, we're loud, we don't allow them to communicate. We're, we, we get in and under their skin um, to, to disrupt their, their flow of things and we just make the ground shake down there. So let, let, let's go get it. So guys, come out. All right, stick with us and you'll hear a little bit about some of the key athletic players last week during Thanksgiving break. What's up, Wildcats? I'm Thomas Petrino. And I'm Ashton Fabre. And we're going to give you guys an update on the state playoffs for 6A football in Georgia. Last week, Dacula crushed Lee County with a score of 56-21. Alatoona shut out Coffee 24-0. Richmond Hill beat Valdosta 16-14. Houston County beat Harrison 28-7. Come support your Richmond Hill Wildcats as they take on Alatoona this Friday at home. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Thomas Petrino. And I'm Ashton Fabre, and this has been Inside Richmond Hill Football. Thanks, guys. All right, Coach, let's talk about some of the athletes of the week that we had during the break that we had. Well, let me let me talk about uh, we, we did not have an academic athlete of the week because we weren't in school. So, uh, teachers, please nominate uh, guys that are doing well in the classroom, setting the example, um, maybe go, going above and beyond. Um, hopefully there are some of those guys this time of year. But uh, um, please, please send in your nominations. Shoot me an email, and uh, I'd love to hear what you have to say about them. Um, our... Uh, weight trainer of the week uh, was Ryan Steele, and Ryan Ryan's been a tremendous asset on our team this year. Uh, sophomore that has grown tremendously, and as I keep on saying that that term when I describe these guys in the weight room because that's what happens when you put in the work. That's you, there, there's no substitute for it. The weights never lie. You cannot cheat want to test in the weight room when when you go you either put in the work and see the results or you don't see the results by not putting in the work so he's a guy that's that's he's just gotten big and strong and he's gotten faster but he's become a more physical player and his presence is being felt out on our field um and and we're, we're very proud of him and the effort that he's put in let's take a look we're diving into weightlifter of the week with ryan Steele. freshman year ryan had a 315 squat and a 185 bench Sophomore year, he had a 345 squat and a 255 bench. Both this year and last year, Ryan totaled over three times his body weight. 
He's improving every week, every max. He's improving at least by like five or 10 pounds. Well, my dad was like really good at weightlifting. And yeah, that just motivated me to do it. I mean, I have a um, bench set at my house, but don't really use it. I just really use the schools. Um, I'm wanting to be, next year, I'm hoping I'm at least on varsity, at like, on some like formations, not starting, because Chandler Booth, he's the first tight end. This has been Barry Jenkins reporting for Inside Richmond Hill Football. All right, Coach, um, let's talk about our scout team player. Man, this guy, this guy's had a, had a special season for us. Uh, Evan Clark, he's he's played a variety of positions. He's played running back, he's played quarterback, and this week we had put him on the defensive side of the ball to play a little cornerback. Um, and, uh, you know, he just brings uh, physical attributes to the game that, that not a lot of guys on our team have, and, and we're, we're very proud of him. Um, he's, he's, he's won this award multiple times, um, but he has been a great teammate. He's grown tremendously. Looking really, really, uh, forward to him and seeing how he grows and develops going into the senior season. He has a chance to, to be a special player for us. All right, stick with us after the break to hear a little bit about Al Tuna. Al Tuna. Al Tuna. Whip it test. Spin is looking kind of extra. Extra. me bumping on my fees. I'm sorry that I'm clever. Wear a cap and gown. Just make me better. Dodge my ass. Really? Seriously, you're here in front of me because you're doing this jewel thing. Don't do this here, not only in Richmond High School, but anywhere. You will be suspended, each one of you, for the next two days. I'm faster than myself, it's hard to measure. I'll fall for two more racks, not pretty girls, I love them never. Whoa, whip electric, pockets looking hectic, butterfly doors when I let your... All right, coach, we're going into the semifinals. Let's talk about Alatuna. Well, I tell you, they've... They've got a, uh, they, they've got one heck of a ball club. They they won a state championship back in 2015. They've been com highly competitive ever since. Um, have really made a name for themselves as a as a very gritty, hard nosed football team. Uh, offensively, they 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 run the ball a lot. They line up in in uh, I formation, something that we we haven't seen a lot of this year. Um, and and they they run the ball. They play action pass and hit big plays and and they they win. They win a lot of games, um, and a lot of that has to do with their defense. The way that they play, they get lined up and they fly around to the ball and they get the ball on the ground. They, they're one of the best tackling teams, if not the best tackling team that we've faced this year. And so we're, we're going to have our hands full. Um, everybody's good now. You know, you, you can't. There, there are no, there are no chumps when you when you're in the final four mm -hmm. in, in the state playoffs. And, there are four uh, left. Yeah. And so, so we're 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 pretty good too. Okay, we're, it's 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 not by mistake that we're here. Um, you know, we've we've uh, we've played some tough teams and we've come out on top and we've had some things go our way. And when you make a run like this, a lot of times it, you you count on some things to to go your way. Um, and, and when they don't, you you go home. But uh, we're excited. I mean, we're, it's, it is December and we're playing football. We're, we're game planning. We showed up on Sunday and spent the entire day up here on Sunday um, getting ready for these guys and going to have a great week of prep. And, uh, man, it's been, it's been a crazy environment. We had college coaches at our practice walking through the hallways, coming to check out and see what we're doing. And the best part about it, we're, they're able to come see our guys live on the playing field. And, uh, you know, I've, yesterday I had to charge up my phone um, at, at lunch, and, and today it looks like I'm going to have to do the same thing. And, um you know, it's just a busy time of year in the, with the recruiting season, and, and the best part about it, man, we're, we're, we're still playing. You know, we're, we're not focusing all of our attention on, on recruiting and trying to help our guys uh, play that next level. We, uh, we're, we're game planning on it for an opponent, and uh, it's just a, it's a special time. It's a special environment. Um, the support has been special. Uh, the, the outpour from the community in support of our guys and the, our players and what we've been doing, um, the outpour of support from – from our students has just been phenomenal i mean it's 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 amazing it's amazing like if i had hair as long as yours it, 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 it i swear it would have been going forward from the noise and the air and the push from the uh the stands friday night it was it was electric and uh and it and we all deserve that. You deserve it. We all deserve it. Everybody that everybody that's here, this, we are RH. That, you know, it's not about football. It's about like, let's go be the best version of ourselves and let's go get it. And and we're doing this together, all of us. We're, we're hand in hand. Let's go. Let's go win another game. Mm -hmm. Man, we are beyond excited. Every single week, I say we're excited. <laughs> we're excited, and we have been excited. We are in the semifinals now. And coach, uh, we're say, gonna, one, say it one more time. Say it one more time. We for the folks in the back. We are in. The semi, man, the semifinals. Yeah, it's not it. something you hear every day. Come on, man. All right, guys. 
come out. Be, bring your game. Bring the people that we are and have you can Bring some noise makers. Let's turn that thing out a little bit. You know, the, no air horns or anything, but let, let, put, put some coins in a, in a bottle and shake that thing. Bring, bring some cowbells. Let's 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 turn it out Friday night. Let, let's show everybody what Richmond Hill is about. It's, it, it, there are going to be a lot of people from all over the state interested in what what happens here Friday night. Yeah. That's going to be a good game. All right, I'm your host, Chandler Espina, and this has been head coach Matt Build the Hill with Inside Richmond Hill Football. We'll catch you all next week.